do a lot to get together. Boy, you, you came again. together so start easily. Over. Sorry, start over. Here we are down here on the field. It's the Aurea Health post game show, and it's brought to you by Aurea Health. And here is Vince Reed. And Victor, I just want to talk to you about the, the fact that you know you guys got so far this year. Uh, the defense was a thing that really needed a lot of help and a lot of work after that first week. But you guys came together, and I think guys like you and, and Brendan Campbell have just done a, a tremendous job that what you did with the, the fact that you had the leadership to get these guys, these young guys, to pick it up and play the way they did. I think that's a lot on your shoulders and, and Campbell's shoulders as well, the way you guys did. I congratulate you on a, a great job of being the senior, senior leaders there on that defense. Thank you, thank you. It wasn't just us. We had a lot of players coming up. I know they're young, but hey, it's, it's a team sport. It's not, you can't just have two players lead. It, no, nah, this is a team sport. Everybody, right. everybody's roles. It's roles. We, there's no, there's no Iron Man team, one man team. Right. Everybody, everybody fit their hole. We good. But yeah, when you look at it here, uh, the expectations. Uh, I don't know what your expectations were as a team coming into this, but I think you really did the job when you saw how things went. You ended up reeling off all those wins after an opening game loss. You went through the league season again undefeated. You're champions of the Suburban One League National Conference for the second year in a row. You got to feel good about the, the accomplishments this team's made. Well, our expectation is always to win. We never, we don't play to lose. We, we always want to win. The state championship is always on, on, on our head. Suburban one, that's that's good, but we got to keep going. We, we can't be losing the playoffs. We got to keep it moving. Next of course, year, make sure we're ready. One of the things we have for you here is from the uh, Trenton Freedom that's going to be opening up in March and going to be playing indoor football. You get a chance to go over there and watch some of those ball games there, of course. And we congratulate you again on a great season, and uh, best of luck to you from here on out. Thank you. And, of course, we also have Chuck's Norway, who just had a magnificent season this year for this Pensbury Ball Club. And, Chuck, I know it's the same thing with Victor. It's hard right now, but uh, when you think about it, what you guys accomplished, you accomplished an awful lot this year. You wanted to go further than this, but I think you really made a great one. You guys played extremely well all year long. Yeah, we had, um, we had a good season. I wasn't expecting it to end this short, but we had a good season. You know, you look at you look at uh, here. You are. You're in the second round of the playoffs, the quarterfinals of the districts. You got a young ball club. You're one of the guys that's going to be back next year again. Uh, I'm sure you have a lot of time to think about this one and then get it out of your mind a little bit. And I'm sure with the group that you got coming back, you got a chance for another long run. Yeah, we're, we're going to work hard this off season. We're going to work hard. No disappointment this next year. No disappointment. Okay, we've got this shirt for you too, of course, from the Trenton Freedom, the Indoor Football League. Congratulations on the, this season this thank year. You. We'll look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, gentlemen. And these are two of the outstanding Pensbury players who will be back next year.